Welcome back everyone! Good to talk to you once again! Welcome to the show and welcome to uh, World of Worship. Today I do believe this is first time ever I featured this ship. The tier 10 British Royal Navy ha super heavy cruiser, the Goliath. Uh, guys, I do believe that the matchmaker, it is what it is, guys. There's a th three uh, tier 8 ships, the rest of them all tier uh, 9 and tier 10. I believe, without saying too much, that a tier 9 ship, uh, it's pretty damn strong. I'm talking about the battleships and super heavy cruisers they can definitely deal with the tier 10 probably not so much when you're underdog uh, tier 8 of uh, especially cruiser and battleship and that is because of the HP pool range and firepower overall guys so we have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain sentinel from EU and this map it's Iceland of Ice and it's a domination mode I do like domination mode. I believe, guys, that the standard battle does have very little limitation. I do believe some maps are alright, but most of all maps are not alright with standard battle. Uh, players play differently, and yeah, they are overextended, and there's a lot of issue with standard battle. Now, uh, I do believe that this uh, captain has pretty good, awesome captain. I'm talking about least concealment and very high skilled captain. I believe so. Um, the concealment it's pretty darn great, and there are a couple uh, British heavy cruiser on the uh, enemy side. That's tier nine, and this side you have another tier nine um, super heavy cruiser from UK all right let's see oh there's instantly <laughs> four ship aiming at this cat Smolensk it's at 6.1 5.8 three ricochet that's the AP for you in my honestly opinion even though it's supposed to be huge big caliber guns it's kind of a mech now the small lens, it's extremely close. In matter of fact, he will open fire. There is a chance that he will be detected. And Hydro, it's on. Okay, the tier 10 British Heavy Cruiser versus tier... Remember, those uh, those uh, ships, they have same guns, guys. But the tier 9 has, of course, less of them. But extremely the same percent to put your enemy on fire. So don't get me you see? They do pretty um, significant damage, even though this captain was kind of unlucky with only two sh uh, shells hit. Um, but of course, you pay it with <clears throat> kind of a slow reload. You don't have uh, any special gimmicks. Um, I, I believe the entire Royal uh, Cruiser, they only have Hydro, Decent, AA, and pretty alright heal, I'm talking about HP pool, it's pretty darn good. Remember that um, Zao only have like 40,000 uh, hit points and you have 58, so yeah it is what it is. You don't quite have the super super uh, heavy cruiser like Alaska's and Cron uh, um, uh, Puerto Rico and stuff like that, but they are uh, in a class like super super heavy cruisers. Now let's see, the turret traverse speed are kind of a uh, mech, British, shall I say. So keep that in mind, you probably really need the uh, expert markman because the, the turret are uh, bad-ish. Hmm, this could be nasty if you hit the Smolensk. Yep, and Citadel him. Yeah, you see, that it's the... You, Smolensk it's overpowered, but when uh, the Smolensk it's too close, then it's very easy ship to take down, because the armor it's so thin, paper thin, that literally what happened with that salvo, guys, he he been Citadel with a Chi. And same thing, guys, guys with... Um, uh, King George V and Conquer and uh, HMS Lion, that some ships they have so 
bad armor that you can nuke them and citadel the crap out of them with HE and I believe that is a little bit wrong but I'm not saying listen guys I really mean it I'm not saying that the Smolensk captain did not deserve it it was a little bit too close you know um, you played different uh, with Smolensk unfortunately um, now he, this captain does not open fire now he does and kiting away the shells are all right not uh, russians they are like a little bit all over the place and even at this short range at 13.0 12.0 now which is not a whole other range guys they are not conquerors close together uh, shells they are um, my honestly opinion not even near alaska's shells they are extremely tight together and they are more hard hitting even, even though if you have he or ap the alaska's shells takes probably at the same uh, i'm talking about the the loop the range or shells per speed or close to this um, british uh, shells but they do hit harder Okay, I would like to say that I was a little bit disappointed when the percentage to put your enemy on fire is definitely not Conker's level. If this captain would have played a Conker instead, he would at least have three fires so far. At least. Probably because the fires, it's a little bit RNG, yet you're right. It's not just up to you, it's up to your RNGs, that's, that's what it is, guys. Uh, but probably it's pretty damn good. Uh, the Monarch is an extremely squishy uh, battleship. I do believe that captain, if you receive this salvo, he will take full pen. I very much like to see that. But, no luck. Oh yeah, it was like 7 penetration of 9, and only 2 non pen but it caused 1 fire. So what I would like to say guys is that the British have a crazy good percent to put your enemy on fire but they are squeegee, uh, they eat full damage from all HE spammers. And in the same regards it's also with the uh, French. Let me know in a comment below guys if you have played the um, British heavy cruiser. How is to play versus Italian uh, sap? It's very interesting. I'm talking about the mid and high tier uh, Italian cruisers. Georgia. It's a very good ship. I love the ship. It looks absolutely fantastic. It most okay but unfortunately she's a kind of a wide lady what i'm trying to say is that the ship it's not small tiny it's kind of a wide easy to land hits unfortunately but of course when you have speed boost on it's different story then you have to learn how to aim very little damage three pen for only 2700 so guys without saying too much it's it's i'm not extremely um hype about this entire line because that last salvo is showing you why i don't like the british you see the last salvo was freaking all over the place it's like a uh, uh, bismarck shells uh, all over the place you know it's not even uh, near post sure you uh, you hit uh, significant but it did very little damage and you know uh, u.s battleship are not known for the best and tankiness i'm talking about the armor for the german has the best armor and sorry i kind of forgot the kreml and soviet battleship ha have absolutely the best armor um so i don't know guys so I, I, i'm just thinking if i have to choose between this ship and zao which one should i choose both of them they are he spammer both of them play total different and they do have almost yeah they do have the same same amount of guns 12 of them right 
but of course the Goliath has a better HE uh, that's the gimmick problem that's the biggest difference um, uh, the heel it's it's totally broken on this ship not as broken as the um, conquer but you get a picture but of some strange reason this type of heel does not have low tier like a, a HMS London and lower tier cruiser they don't have this so-called um, super heel ish Okay, US Massachusetts is uh, charging in. Hmm. There is a carrier uh, as well. So guys, so far kind of a standard, nothing special. Five fire 72,000, but I do believe guys that um, the friendly team kind of a collapse. Yes. Stalingrad and Daring, it's still alive. Very good that uh, the friendly team kept B. They have a little bit issue at C, and most of the enemy's firepower are at Alpha. So what I, you know, guys, very much. I actually did not even start that. I do have the tier six uh, uh, British. Uh, a cruiser but I took her for a spin in you know this operation um, the tier 6 operation and man I I, I feel kind of a um, I have a mixed uh, feeling about the entire uh, British cruisers I believe and I kind of a rough for me to say it but when I was um, playing the Soviet um, tier 6 battleship Ismail I had a blast because I reached a lot of damage close to 200,000 damage in a tier 6 battle and how was that well everyone was playing the tier uh, 5 6 and 7 uh, British cruisers and you Soviet behemoths of uh, uh, rail guns and whopping damage I farmed them for days left and right even though they have heal but the thing is guys you receive so much freaking damage from a Soviet battleship it's not even fun um, Missouri oh uh, Kronstadt's also over there all right interesting very good that he targeted the Kronstadt Kronstadt I believe it's also overpower in that stupid 105 or 71,000 I do believe HP pool what kind of a bullshit cruiser that has 71,000 HP pool hit points at tier 9 not even the Moskva tier 10 has this stupid amount of hit points. I do like this captain, his angle pretty damn good. The Kronstadt, <laughs> alright. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that the trait is that you have pretty uh, good concealment. Oh man, that was one heck of a good salvo. 5,000. Now it looks more like a Zao's salvo. 5, 6, 7,000 and 1, 5. <laughs> I believe they are very strong, those shells versus cruiser. Yeah, definitely. Uh, now now I know the part. You struggle versus some Soviet uh, good armor. Uh, I'm talking about the armor of, of, of a battleship, but for some cruisers, you do full damage. That's what I'm definitely see. Five, six, seven thousand uh, damage and one fire in uh, every single uh, salvo. It's not bad. Uh, this is very close call. The enemy actually control B as well. So it's literally four versus three. So far, only one kill and eight fires 108,000 damage nothing crazy but you see guys i very much would like to see the potential of or what's the weakness and and, and the downside about this ship of course the weak uh, the the powerful tools they have extremely good concealment and um pretty good high percent to put your animal fire animal 
some kind of a super here because if you see here uh, he, this captain has 25,154 HP pool but then if he press the heal right now he will have um, basically more than 25,000 HP pool so you you will double your HP pool uh, in just heal itself so it is one kind of a super heal and I believe that I also saw um, uh, gameplay uh, about the new um, British captain which is absolutely ridiculous makes this ship even stronger same story with Belfast and uh, the conquer all HE spammers benefits of that particularly a new British super captain which cost uh, 1000 um, British tokens I highly recommend the, uh, the you purchase that specific captain uh, because it's a very strong probably a bit too strong uh, in this ship like Goliath uh, conquer Belfast and one fire one non penetration but it costs one fire So just like that, it's two versus three. It's only him and with uh, the CV only, guys. Eight pen. Did that was pretty amazing. I have no idea why this Missouri is not return fire. No, he's dead. <laughs> Well, definitely has some uh, strength, don't get me wrong. Now it's a little bit tricky situation, guys, because it's a DPM monster like a Demoin. But now he popped the super heal. Remember, he only had like 25,000 HP pool just seconds ago, and he's on fire. You see how hard this Demoin has uh, to land his uh, AP shells, even at distance at 14.5. But he did the right thing, changed it to AP, because the AP, you see every single AP, it was a massive... Um, uh, damage, 2500 damage, every single AP lands, so... Uh, kind of a struggle guys to land those shells, but the Des Moines it's great great ship and In the near future it will be buffed in armor uh, Salem and Des Moines Wow, that was a close round, but it still eat the torpedo the a it's not so freaking bad i'm talking about not the crazy strong but not crazy bad either i know you can still drop it but guys without saying too much the um, haku hakus uh, torpedo bombs has been so bad nerfed it's like a v-shape it's not easy to uh to drop um yeah, it is for uh, if if, the, if this captain were, were uh, a cruiser. I'm talking about a battleship. And you see how little damage it was almost nickel him. But guys, so far 15 planes. So I'm very happy to comment about this uh, ship, about her AA as well. Uh, once again, guys, of some very strange reason, the light uh, British cruiser they have the best tier. The tier. I don't know the Neptunes and Minotaurs AA. It's it's incredible. Um, but the ship it's not bad. I'm talking about it's not same level of oopiness in AA. Oh man, this captain really have to kill the CV. Otherwise, he will never gonna win. But um. Okay, now he's cooking this Haku. Oh, he got wrecked. <laughs> I was kind of worried at the last man. Maybe this CV will survive. <laughs> it's not so easy to kill a tier 10 CV, guys. But guys, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comment below what you think about the entire British uh, heavy cruiser line. Have a good one. Take care and bye.